What's up, guys? I'm Paul. This is Pauline Theology Daily Debo. I'm back, and we're going through the book of Ephesians. We're on chapter 6 now, and we're continuing on the household codes. And this time we have the mother, the father, and the child relationship, the parent to the child relationship, as he continues on this. And let us remember that uh, we start out all of this with the idea of how to be filled with the Spirit. Well, how to walk really in the, the, the life of Christ and then how to be filled with the spirit, which is by submitting to one another. And now we're talking about the way in which the, uh, family is submitting to one another. So this is a beautiful passage that we're going to read. And it is, um, one that we should definitely be listening to. So if you haven't checked it out, read six, chapter six, verse one through three, and then, um, Come back, stop the tape, listen to it. We'll be ready. If you have already read it, let's go ahead and answer the four questions, man. The first question is, what is the scripture actually saying? Well, it says this. It says, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. And this is the first commandment with a promise. So that it go well with you and your days may be long upon the earth. So we've uh, uh, got Paul giving a mandate to children. And first off, we got to recognize that he's actually speaking to children here. He's speaking to the sons and daughters of parents that are in the um, the community of the church. So he's dignifying them. He's raising them up because in this in this past time, uh, so many times uh, we've talked about this as we've gone through that the uh Patrifamilius or the head of the family, the father, would the one be spoken to and he would speak these words to others. But Paul is dignifying children, saying that they have the ability to think, they have the ability to understand, and the ability to know uh, what it is to obey. So he's giving them um, value, which is important, as we're going to see and we continue to go through all of these household codes. But he's dignifying children and saying that they have the ability to follow their parents and that this is something that they should choose to do. But he makes it a command. So he's giving this a command. The, the word that is used to obey is an imperative. And so it means that you must do this. And so he's telling the, the children to obey their parents. And the way that they obey their parents is as to the Lord. Um, it is uh, as they are obeying Christ, as they are obeying Jesus, as they are obeying the king of all kings. That is how they should honor uh, their, their father and mother. That's how they should obey their father and mother. It's because they are in Christ that they should follow him. And so this is important to realize as well that these are not just, uh, they're not babies. You know what I mean? They are potentially up to 20, 22 years uh, of these of, of of age when he's speaking to these people that they are people that are still living in the house though this does concern more than those who are living in the house but these are the codes of the house in which the family is residing in and so because of that we 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 have an understanding it's probably about twenty twenty two years up to age probably uh, grade school up to that age and so when he speaks to these children that are in Christ. He says, obey them as they were in Christ. And then he, he gives the basis by which this should be done, which is the basis by which the, the, the marriage relationship is as well. It's based upon scripture. When he goes to the Old Testament and, and he talks about obeying your father or honoring your father and mother. And that's why we also know that this stretches on past this age as well, though, is that the honoring of the father and mother should be beyond being in the household. Uh, we see this when Jesus speaks about um, honoring your father and mother, and that the Pharisees are telling them uh, to dishonor their father and mother. It's 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 a it's a crazy story. Check it out, man. But uh, yeah, so Paul continues to say this, and he says it's the first command with a promise, and this is this is wonderful because God says he 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 envisions or desires for children to obey their parents so much so that a promise is attached to this. I think it signifies the importance of the family relationships between the father and the mother and the child. 
And so what does this scripture say about God? Well, first off, I wanted to finish by saying it says to that we would might live long on the earth is that this we don't want to we want we don't want to take this as a every time situation. This is a proverb in which it speaks of the nominal, I think it's nomic sense of it, is that this is normally what happens. It's not every time. Uh, this is not something that's going to happen every single time we see See, sadly, people die young all the time. But I think that in the sense that if we follow and honor uh, our parents as, as following the scriptures, as honoring the Lord, then our days uh, in most likelihood will be longer upon this earth. So what is the saying about God is that God values the um, honoring of your parents, that he has given us uh, uh, parents so that we might learn and grow in Christ and in order to sustain and to maintain and to to show a, a, a the, the beauty of the church is that we're to honor this relationship. We're to obey our parents. We do as they say, especially when living in the household. And I say the, the, the household part because this is the part where he says obey as an imperative. And then the honor, which is to show deference to your parents, is to be maintained past the household. And honoring is to take care of them when they're weak as they get old. I think the saying is like, uh, the parents take care of you when you're young, and you take care of them when they're old. That's what honoring is. And God desires that for his children to honor their parents. But I just, like I said again, man, I think because of the fact that there's a promise attached to this, that God is saying that this is a very important relationship. What's to say about man is that we should honor our parents, man. We should obey our, as, as children, we should obey our parents. And as children outside of the home, we should honor them and continue to honor them because God has given them to us as such. The thing about all of these codes is that this honoring and this obedience is first off predicated on the Lord. Like we do this as to the Lord, like uh, whatever the Lord would dictate us for to do is what we would do. It wouldn't be anything sinful or evil. But the thing is, is that this isn't predicated on the actions of the parent. Just like we saw, it's not predicated on the actions of the spouse that we should love or that we should respect. Obedience and honor is not predicated on the um, the, the actions of the parent. It is just to be done because this is right. And how can we apply these truths, man? Well, I think that, uh, we should honor our parents. I mean, what, what more can we say? But to apply this truth to our life, I think that we should examine our relationship with our parents right now and see if we are doing the thing that God has called us to. Are we neglecting them in some way? Have they harmed us in, in some way that we we feel broken and and want to shun or, or to not live out a life of honor in their name? Because, like I said, it's not predicated on the actions that they do. And it is difficult sometimes for us to move past some of the damage that they've caused because parents cause damage. It's sad, but it's true. But even in that, as Christians, as people of the faith, as people who follow Christ to demonstrate the love and the forgiveness that Christ has given us, we do this for our parents. I appreciate you guys for listening, man. And uh, yeah, we'll continue in this relationship on the parent side in the next episode.